Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. So I recently got a haircut the other day and I thought I would do a video on how I style my short, thin, fine hair. I did wash it, it just looks so greasy because I decided to add some castor oil in my hair while it was damp and it is so nasty and greasy that I have to wash it again. So moral of the story, I use like a tiny, tiny, tiny amount and I just put it throughout my hair and it just looks so bad. So because I have to rewash it and restyle it, I figured I would just do a video on how I style and make my hair look like I have volume because as you guys can tell, it's pretty flat, it's thin, I don't have a lot of hair. So I just wanted to show you guys how I style it and make it look like I have hair. And I will be adding a few pieces of extensions, one on each side to show you guys an alternative of how you could add even more volume. I did already use a purple shampoo when I washed my hair this morning. Um, and my favorite one is this one by Joico. I think they changed the bottle and the name. This is their Color Endure, Vi Color Endure Violet. I absolutely love it. Today I'm gonna be using this one right here from Joico, the Defy Damage System. I have been using the Volumetic hair system since I think like January or February and it's been really great. I love how it smells. I am already almost out on this one. I haven't noticed too much of a difference to be honest, but I do like how my hair feels and um, it doesn't, my hair doesn't feel stripped. It smells great. So I do like that about this, but today, just so you guys know, I will be using Joico. I love Joico products in general. As you guys will see later on, I'm gonna use their texturizing spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and be right back. So as you guys can tell, my hair is damp right now. But I do start blow drying it before it gets too dry because otherwise my hair is just going to be flat. My hair is thin and fine, so it doesn't hold a volume or bounce. It's just very flat and like lifeless if I don't blow dry it. But I don't also don't try to blow dry it every single day and apply heat every single day because that's also not good for your hair. When my hair was a little bit longer, it was easier for me to just let it air dry and call it a day. Um, or if you plan to like put your hair up with a middle part in like a low bun, you could definitely air dry your hair. I think this is one of my favorite like go-to hairstyles with some gold hoops. That's obviously not what this video is about. So I wanted to talk about some of my favorite hair products for damp hair. So this was part of the set. My sister gave it to me for my birthday. It was like a Joico, the shampoo conditioner and this protective shield you put into damp hair and all their products smell great. I feel like most hair products smell really good. You don't want to use too much because like I said, if you use anything with too many oils or creams and you have fine thin hair, it's just going to weigh it down, make it look greasy and make it look even stringier and thinner. So I'm just going to use a small, small, small amount. And what I also like to use sometimes, and not always, is this Big Sexy Hair. It's like a root spray. And I use this only around here, the back of my crown area right here and here. Just the smallest amount because it can make your hair um, kind of gritty, not in like, like a sticky gritty kind of way. But at the same time, I like this applying it on damp hair so that when I'm blow drying it, this definitely helps my roots hold the volume. My hair is so soft that naturally, as time goes on throughout the day, it would just leave flat. But this helps hold its volume um, even after it's blow dried. Like I said, you don't want to add too much because with thin fine hair, adding too many products can definitely make it gunky um, really quick. So that's basically all that I use. This is great because it's like a heat protectant um, for your hair. And then a root spray is always nice if um, for that like extra oomph to your hair. So that's all that I do. And I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. And the way that I blow dry my hair, as you guys will see, I take sections of my hair and blow dry it upward. And I'll do the same underneath as I go down. Then I'll do that for the back. And then I'll do this side. The reason you will get baby hairs like sticking out when you use this method, I don't use the brown brush because the round brush does not give me any volume whatsoever. Um, I know some people love the round brush um, with like the whole, like you do whatever works for you. But when I blow dry my hair against the direction that it's going to be laying, it kind of creates that volume and it this way my volume lasts longer and because I already added the root spray, that's definitely also gonna help. You also wanna use the warm cycle, not the hot. It's the safer option.
Look at that volume. <laughs> I wish it would stay this way. Um, also, I use this brush right here. You can find it at the dollar store. It is the best because it won't snag your hair. It has like really spaced out um, teeth. And I'm just gently going to brush it out. You want to start out with the bottom. Make sure you have no tangles there. This is what my hair looks like. Freshly, freshly dried. My battery is actually going to die, so I'm going to have to replace it. But what a difference when your hair isn't oily like in the beginning i just washed my hair like two hours before the beginning first clip versus this so oils it is like oil free do not use castor oil and damp hair especially if you have fine thin hair but i'm going to go ahead and change out the battery and then talk about what hair products i use to style it and then keep that volume throughout the day and curling because my hair is so fine and thin i like to add a texture spray or a dry shampoo to kind of give it some grit so that it can maintain its shape throughout the day. I don't, I'm not really big on hairspray, but there are a few different kinds that I've tried. I feel like I've tried every dry shampoo out there from like Dove to Living Proof right here. This one's actually really great. I'm all out. My sister gave it to me for my birthday, but it is a really good um, dry shampoo. I just don't know if it's worth the price considering I've tried other dry shampoos that were pretty decent and like a fraction of the price. I like these two dry shampoos right here. I found this one at Walmart and this one sold at Walmart as well, but recently I just picked it up at Target. This one is just a great basic dry shampoo. Works very works very well for me, kind of like the Dove one. And this one is a dry shampoo with like a texture spray built into it. So when you spray it in your hair, it not only works as a dry shampoo, but it also adds grit. But you have to be careful not to use too much because sometimes it can get too gunky really quick. This is another really great dry sham um, texture spray from Joico. It's called Hair Shake. And basically it is a texture spray. Dry shampoo is great because it kind of like, I feel like it almost expands the hair follicles and makes it look like you have more hair than you actually do versus texture spray doesn't do that. Texture spray simply just gives your hair some grit and hold, almost like a hairspray, but not really. It's more of a flexible hold. This one's my absolute favorite. This one's like in between a dry shampoo and texture spray, like combo. And then this one is a great hairspray that actually does not make your hair chunky at all. My sister swears by it. She gave this to me as well for my birthday. And it is amazing how this works. Like your hair is so flexible. So those are some of my favorite hair products. But right now what I'm gonna do is actually curl my hair. This is the only curler that I have and I use. It's a one and a half inch barrel, hot tools. And I like to start from one side at the frame of my face. I like loose curls. I don't like tight curls. And I like leaving the end out so that it kind of gives like that beachy look. Julie, the girl that does my hair, she always curls it so nicely. She always goes in like different directions and it makes it look like I have more hair than I actually do. So she like changes directions. First out, first this way, that way, this way, that way. I don't know if that makes sense. So that way when you blend the curls, they're not like all going in one direction. It kind of gives it more volume. I don't have a lot of hair to curl, so this is not gonna take long at all. But I leave the ends out, like I said, because I want I want it to look um, kind of those loose, beachy curls. Alternating the curls um, in different directions definitely helps with adding more texture to your hair. My hair doesn't hold the curl too well, so I'm going to go ahead and add some texture spray to it. And then recurl the back a little bit. I'm just going to add some dry shampoo throughout to kind of give it more volume. Dry shampoo is definitely probably my favorite hair product because it just gives my hair so much more volume, in my opinion, as you guys can already tell, as well as curling it. It's not flat. I run some hairspray through it so that it can hold because my hair does not hold the curl very well. And this one is great, like I said, because your hair is still very flexible. It's almost as if you don't have anything in it. 
but this is essentially what the hair looks like once I'm all done and ready to go. Um, I know it seemed long because I was filming a video, but for the most part, this is really quick and easy. And these are just things that I use to, and things that I do to make it look like I have more hair in my head than I actually do. You gotta work with what you have for the most part. And another option that I wanted to show you guys is using extensions. So I got these extensions off of Amazon. They are the ones that I did a video on last sometime last year and i had two packs one of them was like a 14 inch the other one was like a 22 inch i took a few pieces of the two piece clip sections right here these are from full shine hair off of amazon they match my hair very well right now it is a little warmer and it's not the same color as i have but it blends in so nice you can't even tell so like i said i took these two clip pieces, I have three right here, and I cut them to the length of my hair. I'm gonna add one on this side and one on this side, and it immediately gives it a lot of a volume because right here, I don't have a lot of hair. Like from the back, my hair is pretty, it's like okay, but right here is where my hair is like the thinnest, like right around my temples, around the front, so I'm gonna add a clip here and a clip here. This is with the extension piece, and this is without. As you guys can see, it definitely adds so much more volume. And I add the extension piece all the way to the front right here because this is where I want to add a ton of volume. I'm actually debating to get tape-in extensions or something um, right, just right here so that it's something that's kind of like semi-permanent and I constantly have volume there, something that's not too damaging, but we'll see probably for my next appointment. But I wanted to show you guys another option. This is a great way to add volume to your hair with just literally like this is this just this right here will add such a big difference. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and actually put on the other extension piece to show you guys. This is just two pieces. Definitely amped up my hair. And you don't have to worry about seeing the clips or anything like that because they are so low. We have all this hair covering the clips and these match the roots of my hair so well. So definitely pick extensions that match the root of your hair and blend in. And just these two clips, like I said, make such a difference. This is the end result. Just like some loose, loose, like a blunt cut. Absolutely love how Julie did my hair. I'm actually debating to go even darker right here for like fall time. And like I said, probably add some tape-ins just right here so it's not too much damage. And I wanna find something that doesn't really damage the hair something that's a little more permanent because clip-ins um, these are really great super affordable but at the same time um, you are pretty limited with clip-in extensions so that is essentially what I do to kind of create volume for my short thin fine hair this is pretty similar to my previous video but now that I got a haircut I thought I would do like an updated version and how you can create even more volume so these are some of my favorite products I hope this video wasn't too confusing and I actually hope it was helpful for people that have thin, fine hair like me, I had a handful of comments in my previous hair video saying, finally someone that has thin, fine hair. Uh, so I'm not the only one. So if there's any good news out of this, it's that we are not alone. There are tons of us out there. And I think you can definitely work with what you have and make it look like you have volume. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.